We're on the NVIDIA campus. That's their new building. It's not quite ready yet, but they tell me they have a new VR demo that is ready. So we're gonna go check that out. I've run into VR a couple of times in the past. The VR Fun House was an eye-opener, being able to interact with the stuff that you're seeing, having very convincing sound, having haptic or tactile feedback. I've just never seen anything that was as interactive as what I saw here. One of the most impressive things that I was seeing here was actual physics that had been applied to these objects. Nice. If you're punching something and it recoils, in the case of the balloons, you had all, all this kind of little particles that were left over when the balloons pop. It's not just about rendering something, it's about actually seeing things behave like real objects in the real world. That's fantastic. The rubber in those things was so realistic that you could pull it back kind of like a slingshot and let it go and it would launch itself across the room. The best thing is target practice. That is, <laughs> that's, I almost think that's more fun than the real thing. You never run out of ammo. I was impressed that they'd gone to the level of realism of me being able to continuously fire until I could pretty much make the whole target backboard fall down. All of those details that you've been able to build into these virtual environments equaled more than the sum of its parts. That's what makes you actually feel like you're really there. I can feel the sword interacting with the other sword and my hand is on it, so swiping through that, I'd be cutting my hand off and it's like a concern. I'm like, ow, 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 you know? With these kinds of environments, you're getting put in a situation where the line between what's real and what isn't gets blurred pretty quickly. I'll be really excited to see how far uh, this technology can be taken.